Hi, yeah. This is Kwajin Veda. どうも皆さん、こんにちは。Kwajin Veda です。So the other day, I made a video about Free Night Museum in London. 前回はロンドンのナイトミュージアムについてビデオを作ったんですけれども、I just wanted to make a little follow-up video that compares the situation in Japan and the UK. So this video is about that. 日本にもナイトミュージアムあるよ。っていうことでそれを比較しつつ思ったことがあったのでビデオを作りました If you haven't watched the previous video, please check it out I'll leave it in the description box below まだ前のビデオを見てないという方はぜひそっちも見てみてください In Japan, well, Tokyo is a great city as well So of course they have the museums which opens until late My favorite Mori museums in Roppongi. They open until 10 o'clock almost every day. Unfortunately, Mori museum is not free. You have to pay like 15 pounds, but you also get amazing view. It's one of the best o b s e r v a t o r y in Tokyo, in my opinion. Well, in the UK, as a national policy, the museums are free. But well, Mori museum is a private one. So, as a private museum, I think they are doing Great job to give people an opportunity to enjoy art at night like that. Once I read the book of Mr. Mori, who is the owner of Mori Tower, Mori Building, and in his book he wrote that he wanted to make a museum on top of the building and combine it with observatory so that he can give more opportunity for people to enjoy more than art. And also, he wanted to show people that Roppongi is the center of culture. 六本木ヒルズの構想を練るために私は海外の都市を巡り歩いたそうした中で世界経済を動かすような企業や知識人と出会い彼らの価値観やライフスタイルを知ったことも大きかったと思う彼らは実によく働くが人生を楽しむことにも貪欲だった豊かなプライベートタイムが斬新なアイデアや思いがけないビジネスチャンスを生み出しているように思われたまた世界の都市をめぐって経済だけで文化がないような都市では世界の人々を引きつけることはできないとも感じていた身近に文化があってそれを楽しむ時間もあるそんな都市を作ろう文化都心というコンセプトはこうした実感から生まれたものだっていうふうに書いてますね。Because he knew that this is very important to have a good culture in city. Only economy is not enough. It's culture that attracts those high skilled people. So that was his vision. I think that's really smart. I personally don't really like high buildings or skyscrapers, but still, Mori Tower plays a significant role in the city of Tokyo. They host very cool exhibitions in the area of Roppongi. They sometimes have art festivals or cool events. So, that's definitely one of the most popular destinations for art lovers in Tokyo. But the problem is, it's a bit exclusive. As I said, it's not free to enter, it's more for rich people, if you know what I mean. And I'm sure for those who know about Roppongi area, you might have the image of Roppongi as a very posh area, and it is. Unlike in the UK, museums are not free as a national policy, so they have to make money. That's why they are like that. I think as a private museum, they are doing a great job, seriously. Still, the fact that Mr. Mori, who was the leader who made the Roppongi Hills, considered the culture as a very important factor of city planning. I really, really like that part. I think that's one of the reasons that makes Roppongi very successful. So, yeah, that's it for today, and thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to share some thoughts that I had when I was making this night museum video. I know this video was a bit random, not really fun, but I just wanted to make a record of what I was thinking because after some years, I know that eventually those thoughts. Will fade away. I think it's very important to take a record of what I was thinking, especially when I started to living abroad. Everything seems new and fresh, and it makes me think a lot of things. This video was more like a personal record. But thank you so much for watching, and if you have any comments, please leave down the comment below. And if you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.